guys what's up welcome back to my channel oh my goodness this is my first time leaving my house in way too long way too long I'm still sounding a little a little off still feeling a little off but I have been testing negative for a couple days so I think it's fine to leave the house and honestly I know myself and if I don't just like rip the band-aid off and go do something I will not want to leave my house ever again it gives me so much anxiety. I meant to leave like two hours ago, but that's fine. Here we are. Thankfully, we have this camera now that if it gets dark, which is going to <laughs> in the next hour, you can still see me. So, obviously, I'm driving. Uh, I think that I'm going to just go run a couple errands, and I thought I'd just bring you with me. I honestly don't know what all I will have the energy for, um, because last time I had this, uh, I will probably go get hair dye because I've been antsy. I did touch it up with what hot pink I had under my sink and honestly, not bad. <laughs> not bad for like what it is, but I also can't wait to like fully touch it up and get rid of the dark spots. So I'm gonna go get that so that whenever I get the urge, it's just in my house and I'm good to go. Uh, so I'll do that. And then I really wanted to go to Home Goods and like TJ Maxx. But it is Saturday. Why did the like day that I finally was like, okay, I need to get out of the house this is Saturday? Because I hate going to like busy places. <laughs> so we might just pop in TJ Maxx because if I see one more person on TikTok post those freaking cute hair clips that look like conversation hearts, I'ma lose it. Because you know, and I was like, well maybe I'll just wait and go during the week. And the thing is, is if I don't go look now. They're probably already gone, honestly, because I've been seeing them for the last week and knowing how things go when something's cute on TikTok, everyone finds it and like just gets it. Apparently me going the speed limit is just too slow. So we might go get a coffee, which sounds good to me. Um, I love that you can see the clothes from the last time Alina and I shot. Yeah, so mostly today, I just feel a little bit congested uh, when just like last time my tmj is like off the charts i'm like a month or so past due for that because i always put it off because i'm the worst and i just don't want to pay for it but then i realize i really need to pay for it <clears throat> because it makes such a difference for me so i scheduled it like a month out so i'll be a couple months late but at least like i have it on my calendar to get that done so i'll give me some time to prep for the expense and stuff like that uh and I just wanted to make sure that I was like 100% better by the time I go do that. So that's what's up. So I don't know what I will do today. I'm, I probably should go to a grocery store, to be honest. TBH. Uh, but we'll see if we get there. That sounds like a lot on a Saturday. So we might just go to Panda Express. Because <laughs> that's all I do. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to call some prof. I think I will get a coffee first. A little one, because just why not? the joy of like leaving your house to get a coffee it's a what was i even saying i already lost my brain i need this coffee apparently um I hate COVID brain you guys so much I just I'm already I have ADHD like I'm already a dinkle hopper and I just don't need anything else to like clog my brain but that's fine <sighs> I love it I was like I'm gonna ramble and then I completely lost all of my thoughts so I'm just gonna take a beat and see if I can remember what I was gonna tell you guys yeah no it's gone I'll be back <laughs> okay we're at Starbucks let's see if I can order you guys listen to me even though I'm not getting anything exciting at all. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I just get a ice grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Yeah, anything else? Nope, just that for me. Alright, I'll start on some music space. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I still don't remember what I was going to tell you, so it's fine. We'll get there when we get there. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more on the self-care level this year, and honestly, I know that the reason my sickness, why COVID, like, went from, like, nothing, um, or, like, a very small cold to, like, 
to what it ended up being was because on Wednesday, like, so that was the day that like my sinuses just felt dry again. It was like nothing. It was like absolutely nothing. Um, just kind of like, hmm, that's weird. Uh, but I was outside a lot. I was uh, shooting pictures with Alina. And that morning, uh, Tiny Queen, I went to wipe her booty before I left. And she had, sorry for poop talk again and booty talk, but she had poop all over her. All over her. And that just set me in like a spiral of, oh my God, again, 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 again. Like she's not feeling good. Um, but that led me to remember that I had been giving her these calm down treats. And um, if you already watched my like, last video you probably heard all this but yeah so that's been causing her more problems so I've stopped and knock on knock on wood you guys she has been a whole different cat a whole different cat she's like more spunky than I think I've ever seen her for like since she was like young um it's crazy so she must be feeling so much better because I think that she's just got the most sensitive tummy in the world um, but yeah, she's doing so good. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's such a stress relief. But that day it just started to spiral. I was running, then I was running late for Alina. I hate being late. I'm chronically late. It's who I am as a person. I know now that it's ADHD, but still it's always drove me nuts. And of course, Alina's like the biggest angel in the world and, uh, just bless her. Cause she totally calmed me down that day. And she, you know, she's just, I'm just so thankful to have her as a friend. And then I got to see my friend Helena that night, which now I feel really bad because I didn't realize I was getting sick and wasn't, you know, around them. Um, but that day was just, I was just really stressed. So I think my body just like shut down and was like, Hey, you're sick now. Okay. Be your back. This man just looked at me very judgingly as he goes into the bakery outlet. I did not even realize there was a bakery outlet. Like right here. That's how observant I am. Yeah. From the bread store. Wait, did you ever go to the bread store when you were little? You guys? I was. I remember I like look forward to it because I'd get like hostess cupcakes. No wonder I've been a chonk my whole life, but that's fine. Um, so anyway, I pulled up the Cosmoprof. I have an idea of what I'm getting. I know this is not exciting because you guys already saw me do this, but um the way things are going right now with me like feeling so poopy, I'm just gonna vlog whatever <laughs> because better to have like some stuff and I just like hanging out with you guys. I feel like, I don't know. I love watching people just do like random crap even if it's like the same thing over and over again. And <clears throat> I feel less alone when I have you guys to talk to. It's like I brought a friend with me, uh, which I love. So I'm gonna get the same neon pink. I'm gonna get, so I think I'm gonna get two neon pinks from Pravana a pink from Nirvana, Nirvana, <laughs> Pravana, um, cause that's this color, which I am freaking impressed with you guys. Uh, this I've washed multiple times and it's still basically the exact same pink it was. So heckin' yeah for Pravana. It's just the rest of my hair is having trouble holding it because it's just so like warm. Uh, but we're going for it. So I'm going to pop in here. I might get magenta from Guy Tang cause it looks really, really pretty, but it might be red based too. But that's fine. We'll see how it goes. I kind of want to test it. And then I should get some more lightener just because I'm going to need it. Look at these roots already, you guys. I can't believe how fast my hair grows. And I haven't even been taking my hair supplement because um, they discontinued it. Like it was the Revly one I told you guys all about. As far as I can tell, they discontinued it. They like reformulated and made it into a gummy and then took out like almost all of the ingredients so now it's just like a biotin gummy and I've tried just taking biotin and nothing has ever worked as well as this supplement so I researched I ordered another one and then I put it like on the uh like subscribe thing on Amazon and I hate when you do that and then it doesn't send it for a month so now I'm like a month without my hair vitamins but it's fine whatever um so I'm definitely gonna need lightener anyway because I'm gonna have to be able to Lighten my roots as needed. So anyway, I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to do that. And then I should put a mask on. I'm going to start masking. I mean, I was masking, but I'm going to continue masking. Even though the likelihood of me getting COVID for the next few months is really low. Because I just had it. <clears throat> I don't want to risk it. Um, I don't want the flu. I don't want whatever else is going. I just, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm so mad I got it again, guys. I've tried not to have a meltdown about it. I've tried really hard not to have a meltdown about it because it just, it terrifies me because last time the, it, it was just bad. It was just bad. I was in so much extra pain and like this time doesn't feel near as bad, but I'm still paranoid. I'm still paranoid. And the effects it had on my brain 
that's what scares me the most. Some people, I know for some people, like my boyfriend who probably just had it, nothing, nothing, like a few days, totally fine. But me, because I have autoimmune issues, it just, it's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother like thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to pop in Cosmoprof really quick to get this taken care of. And so we can get to doing more fun stuff. Um, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry to like get all emotional for a moment and then be like, I'm going to go do this. Um, okay. All right, love. So I'm bummed because when I went in, first of all, I went in and she was like, just so you know, I closed in like four minutes. And I was like, whoops, whoopsie daisy. So I didn't get anything too exciting because they didn't have the guy tang color, but they also didn't have the developer that I need. So we'll just come back. But I went ahead and bought some stuff because I was like, why not? I'm here. Might as well grab it. Uh, so I grabbed more of my lightener, which they had a free gift with this. So I'll show you what that is. Um, of course, I'm just going to grab the free gift. Uh, if, if you're wanting to like really lighten your hair, this is absolutely my favorite. It lifts up to nine levels. It's just there's nothing comparable that I have ever used. I will never go back to using like Manic Panic or whatever. Um, so it came with a free mask. It's a detox mask. I don't know if I want a detox mask, but it was free, so I took it. <laughs> You know, um, I mean, there might be a point where I want a detox mask. I've just never used one. So then even though I told myself I wasn't going to get another magenta, I figured I might as well grab another magenta because I couldn't find the I Tang one I wanted. Oh my gosh, I grabbed a different one. Oh, well, <laughs> this is an everlasting one. Whatever. <laughs> I meant to grab the Vivids, or like the one that's like right above the Vivids. So I just got two neon pink, a pink and a magenta, but I apparently accidentally bought the wrong magenta, but that's fine. Whatever. Better to have it than not have it, I suppose. Um, because that's what I used on my extensions. I mixed basically all of those um, on my extensions. So I guess if I want my hair to actually match my extensions this round before I get new extensions, I should probably have more of the magenta and I assume it's going to be the same magenta. It just pulled more red than I wanted it to when I colored my hair. So that's what's up. Anyway, let's go to TJ Maxx. Let's do it. Let's see if we can find these hair clips. I'll just be in and out, see what's up. <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. Uh, we might honestly not do too much, but I'm just vibing. Stop Posty Maloney. He just wants to play. Um, okay, let's see how much we can get done. Let's see what we can do. I'll see you at TJ Maxx. I'm glad you can still see me. I hope it's as good as it was last time. I don't know. Don't judge my skin, you guys. I need to do like, oh, I want to tan, but my skin is so dry and gross from, I think, being sick and like not taking care of it, among other things, just dehydration. I really want to tan, but I think I'm going to do some, like, self-care tonight. Uh, I probably won't have the energy to, like, document it, but I'm just going to do my overnight peel, which I just keep burping. <laughs> if you watch, I have, like, a skincare video on here somewhere, and I talk about the overnight peel. Um, but anyway, it's just from Derma Eat, by the way, but that's going to, like, it just, like, mm, it's so good. So I'm going to pop in TJ Maxx <laughs> after that man rant. Ugh, that man rant's probably going in the bloop. So if you want to hear me rant about men... And what just happened? It was like so stupid, but sometimes I just get so fed up. Um, I'll probably, that's probably in the bloops, so I probably won't put that in the main vlog. But anyway, we are at TJ Maxx. I have seen so many TikToks, so many everythings about TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls and the Valentine's Day stuff. And I know you guys are shocked as a girl that loves pink. Um, I feel like when I have pink hair too, it just gets like amplified in a way that like I can't even understand. I can't even comprehend. Um, I ordered this when my hair wasn't pink, but like it feels like a lot now. Like everything was pink before, but because my hair is pink, it feels like just a lot of pink. Okay, quick review on the Stanley. <laughs> For those of you that struggle to drink enough water, but also don't want to spend the $40 and want to know if it's like worth it or not, here's the thing. Uh, I just needed a new water bottle of some kind because the last one I had, my ex got me and I had it for a couple of years and like I kind of misplaced it and then I was like, you know what, good riddance. I don't want to look at that thing anymore. Um, and then everyone started talking about this cup and then I saw they were back in stock and I saw that they had the pink one. So I just went for it. 
And I gotta admit, I drink more water with this because when I even had the water bottle or a different water bottle or anything, um, I was finding I really needed to still have like liquid IV and stuff like that to get enough hydration. One of my medications does dehydrate me, plus I have um, painful bladder syndrome and intracetal, however you say it, cystitis, bladder issues basically. So I have to be more hydrated than the average person. So it sucks that like one of my medications that really helps my brain uh, dehydrates me. So anyway, I have not had to. I need to, but I have not had to um, supplement with liquid IV because I've been drinking enough water by just having this. So I do think that it's worth it. Um, she's kind of heavy. So I, when I leave the house, even though I haven't really left the house with this until today, um, besides like once with my parents, I don't fill it up all the way because it's so heavy for me. I don't like that it's, sorry about, I don't like this noise, but it is what it is. <laughs> Every water bottle is going to sound like that. Um, sometimes it's really hard for me to get the lid open because my arthritis. But anyway. If you feel like spending $40 on this, I think it's worth it. Um, as someone who's on a budget, I think that there's something magic about it that just makes you the straw or something just makes you drink more water, which is kind of amazing. Um, okay, so we're going to go to G-Max, long story long, uh, and we are going to look at purses in hair goods and decor. Um, I'll probably end up getting, because if I get a heart purse, because I want to obviously shoot some Valentine's Day content, I might get one from like Amazon or Shein or somewhere more accessible for you guys so I know you can get it because with TJ Maxx like they only get a certain amount and then it's really hard to get and like you can't really order online you have to go into the store and like I don't know but unless there's one that I'm like absolutely in love with then we'll grab it but I'm just I'm I'm hoping for the hair clips mostly it's such a small thing um they might not even have it but I just want to go look I'm one of those people that loves what I was getting at when I was talking about living pink I love looking for actual just like for Halloween I love that Halloween and Valentine's Day are my holidays. They are my holidays for decor. I don't, and it's funny because I don't really celebrate either. Like, I celebrate Halloween, don't get me wrong, but I don't, like, go out on Halloween. And I, I like, my boyfriend and I went out for Valentine's Day last time, but, like, it's not what's important to me. I just really like the pink <laughs> decor and the, like, you know, all of that. So, let's go to TG Maxx and see what we can find. But, yeah, okay. So I'm going to pop in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited, but I'm so nervous. Please don't be too busy. <sighs> Anxiety. <coughs> All right, babes. Let's go to TJ Maxx. Did I switch my microphone yet? No, I apologize. My brain's not here. I'll do it soon. Anyway, I went straight to the purses because I have seen so many cute ones on TikTok. I saw a couple of the ones that I've seen on TikTok, but I could not find any heart-shaped ones. I could not find any of the ones that I thought were really cute. Um, it was also really busy in the heart section. This one was kind of cute, but I don't know if the beading is my vibe. I don't know. This juicy one was pretty cute. This was my favorite that I found. But I really don't need one like this. I have one very similar, so I left it. I always have to peek at the lashes because there are such cute lashes at TJ Maxx. I oh, I kind of wish I would have got those because it's such a good deal for it. Lily Lashes. They had some Jaclyn lipsticks, which I really do like her formula of liquid lipsticks. They had some pumpkin pie chapstick. And then I went to the hair goods. I thought these were adorable. I kind of want to go back for those. And I found the hair clips I was looking for. So very, very exciting. I stood there for a minute trying to decide um, which, like if I needed one, if I needed two, which ones I wanted. Um, I went a little crazy, as you'll see in a minute. These were really adorable as well. And then I peeked through the makeup and skincare a little bit. But again, it was kind of busy. So I just kind of grabbed my haul and then <laughs> walked around to see what's up. I kind of wish I would have gotten that soap. There's a couple things that I wish I would have gotten. But again, I was just so overwhelmed that I just kind of grabbed my hair clips and left after I did one quick round. Uh, some really cute stuff. There wasn't any decor that I found that I really, really needed. I am kind of regretting not getting this pillow. I'll show you in just a moment. They had lots of pillows. They had some blankets, lots of cute stuff. I like swear by those back pillows, the ones at the bottom on the bottom shelf. Uh, they're so good if you work from bed or you have a chronic illness and you're in bed a lot. Um, I am a bed layer all the time. I'm literally laying in bed right now. And here's me with all my hair clips. <laughs> I'm regretting not grabbing this. Why did I not get it? It was $9.99. $9.99 and it's perfect. And Luna is going crazy right now because she thinks I'm talking to her. Hi, angel baby. I love you. I'm doing a voiceover. I'm doing a voiceover. 
Um, but they had some really cute rugs. Sweetheart, <laughs> she's going crazy. She's going crazy. You need a pet? Wow. Um, so here are some of the blankets. Some cute stuff. I thought these little avocados were cute. And then the heart-shaped pillows. Ugh, I want this one. And I want the pink one. I already have a red one from Target last year. And I just, I don't need it. I didn't need it. Had these pillows been in pink, girl, studded in pink, I would have been all about it. But I left the red ones. I had to check out the snacks to see if there's anything cute. Um, I always buy my Himalayan pink salt at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, by the way. I don't know if you're down with the Himalayan pink salt. But if you are, I swear I buy it. They had some cute fuzzy socks. Thought these little clearance nails were cute. I feel like I saw them last time. I was intrigued by these, but I feel like, I don't know, more heart, conversation hearts are so cute. I thought these containers were adorable, and I kind of want this just for the container. Um, I checked out the nails. I didn't see a lot of the Valentine's Day. Guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, I'm sure you saw. I'm sure, I'm sure you saw I found them. Okay, so this is what I went in there for. <laughs> Of course, I couldn't buy just one because I was like, they have to match because I think they'll be cute, like just like clipped up on each side. I think I'm hitting my max for the day. We barely did anything. So anyway, I just felt like I needed one of each because they don't match otherwise. So you, I had to get one of each. So there's cutie pie, text me, be mine, XOXO, and hot stuff. So freaking cute. Are you kidding? They're so cute. So I got two of these. They were $6.99 each. Then the same thing. I was like, these are so cute. I'm literally obsessed with these clips right now. They're the easiest thing ever to just like get my bangs out of the, out of my face. Um, and part of me thought maybe just buy one and see if you like them and then come get a second one. But knowing TG Max, it's better to just buy it. Uh, so I got two packs of these as well. So you've got like, I like this warm brown a lot. And then of course I like the pinks and the cream. I feel like my hair is probably going to stain this one and probably this one, but that's okay. Um, and then black and red. So I got two of these as well. These were $7.99 as well. Um, I just had to and then I just got one of these because clearly these are like the bigger clips I mean it comes with smaller clips, but although that's really freaking cute But I really didn't need to buy a second one just for this if I decide I really need a second one because I do like how tiny this is Dang it. I probably should have got a second one, huh? Um, but that's okay. These are so cute I feel like I love these clips so much and I break them all the time So like there's I can never have too many. I can never have too many I actually should show you when I get home the ones I got at the Dollar Tree uh, I think I'm good on clips for now, but wow. So definitely excited. I spent 40 bucks, which $40 on hair clips, kind of crazy, but these are so stinking cute. And honestly, the heart ones, um, I'll probably use any of these year round, but I just felt like they needed to match. Do you feel like they need to match? I mean, if you're just using one, that's fine. Um, but I feel like I would just wanted them to match if I needed them to match. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I got two. They had tons. So, um, well, not tons, but they had a lot of all of these. So if you're into any of these, definitely go check out your local TJ Maxx, 5 o'clock. And it feels like so much later because the sun is now down. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, heckin' cuter tins. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go get some food. I'm probably going to go to Panda Express. And then I'll just, wow, this is just going to be like a hair clip haul video. <laughs> I'll show you stuff at home. And then I think that's, that's plenty for a vlog, you guys. I know you understand. Um, and I'm hoping tomorrow or the next day, probably the next day, I'll probably give myself a day off. Um, just because I actually did something today and I know my body's going to be exhausted. Uh, hopefully I can get back to filming uh, fashion videos. I have four. I have four sitting at home right now. Um, there's a Halara. A lot of you guys were asking about Halara. They are like the viral leggings and I did start filming that haul. Um, and my battery died on my camera and then I got sick. So I'm just going to start it over, but spoiler alert, I already, like I tried one of the pairs of leggings and they were so good. If you haven't seen like the viral leggings on TikTok, Halara and then Timu, 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 T-E-M-U. My sister loves it. They reached out and wanted to do a video. So we're trying it. Um, I have a Bloom She Call, which they didn't listen to me again, and they just are sending me whatever, so I'm just gonna, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it was like a Valentine's Day collab, it should be good. What is this piece doing on the wrong side of my hair? Girl. Get over there. Get to your side. Um, and then a Sheen Haul, which I really need to get that Sheen Haul up, because that was supposed to be like a Christmas haul, and life happens. <laughs> you know, life happens. Um, but yeah. Because I really want to get uh, like a Valentine's Day Shein haul in because they've got some cute as heck stuff. By the way, there is supposed to be a TJ Maxx like 
Betsy Johnson dress. Pretty sure Marshall's is supposed to have it too. Um, I know Marshall's had it last year. I never got a chance to go peek at it. I think it only went to a 16, maybe an 18. Um, and seeing as I'm a 2022, the chances of it fitting are very slim. I have tried some Betsy Johnson stuff in an XXL uh, at Nordstrom Rack and like it wasn't great but like with stretch it works so I'm I peaked but like it was so busy so I'm gonna get some food and then hopefully um I might just show you my haul when I get home we'll see that okay I'll see you at home <laughs> sorry for the rambles I'm gonna get some food and go home and then I'll haul at home what I got it's Dollar Tree and Ulta okay when I was driving home, I remembered that I actually had recorded some at Dollar Tree right before I got sick and then I like forgot it was there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that footage of me shopping at Dollar Tree, uh, which was a couple, probably a couple weeks ago now. <laughs> um, but then I will show you my little haul because they have some really cute hair accessories, especially if you are on a budget and you don't want to go spend in $40 on hair clips like I just did. I'm crazy. But the thing is, is like, again, it's Valentine's Day. I have to get it now and I will wear it. Um, and I would, I'll wear heart clips in my hair all year round. Uh, and again, these break and sometimes you just want something cute. And I just had to get those conversation heart ones. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you me shopping at Dollar Tree. And then I think I'm just going to wait for the Ulta haul and do like a whole Ulta haul because there's enough new stuff. Um, and I could probably even, hi, Luna, you come say hi. I could probably do a whole Ulta haul. Ulta. <laughs> I can probably do a whole Ulta haul video because there was the stuff that I used in my last video and then I have gotten two different orders because I have a problem and again I feel like certain things need to update when I change my hair color. Um, I'm so much happier with my my brows in a taupe shade. I used um, the taupe I got today. Definitely not very intense. I just wanted to try a lighter brow today to see how I feel about it. I might go a little darker than this. But anyway, I want to go ahead and show you the Dollar Tree footage and then I'll come right back and Luna and I, Luna and I will give you a little haul. All right, love. So we're going to the Dollar Tree. Uh, the whole reason I went was because I needed some tape because I had for, I had not sealed the box all the way and needed to go to the post office. And I didn't want to go all the, way home, all the way home, if I can speak. I did not want to go all the way home. So it was an excuse to go look at the Valentine's Day stuff. So I grabbed the tape. was so thankful they had some. They had some little clips. Um, I was looking at these. And right after I looked at these, I knocked a bunch of those things next to them over. And that was embarrassing. But it's okay. So then I poked around all of the Valentine's Day stuff. I love all of it. But like, what am I going to do with those? What am I going to do with those? I love these little felt garlands. I think they are adorable. Do you guys have any cute Valentine's Day DIYs that you've seen or anyone that does cute DIYs? Let a, let a girl know. Could be fun. Could be fun, but I don't know what I'd even do. I was smitten with this ribbon. I literally hand sewed ribbon that looked like that that I got like at this fancy little shop in Seattle to my dresses when I was in fashion school for my collection because I did a dress collection called confection <laughs> and they were inspired by cupcakes and I hand sewed a bunch of like heart ribbon on so I don't know just for memory's sake I was like I'll figure out something to do with this someday uh, so I grabbed them because that's what I do I wish that I would have grabbed some of these gift bags because there's so many cute ones um, but I will definitely have to go back I thought the little sloth guy was cute I was hoping for cuter dishes than just plain red so I didn't grab any of those um, but they have so much good crafty stuff and little boxes and bags and stuff like that. So if that's something you were looking for, what is with the gnomes? The gnomes are everywhere. Are you, are you into the gnomes? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, those little, little cloth bags were really cute too. I thought the fortune cookies were cute. This is adorable with the little, with the little pets on it. Lots of fun stuff. If you, you know, need some little accessories for your kids or whatever, they had tons, tons of stuff. Um, a little mat that was adorable and then these were the bins that I decided that I needed to grab I, I could have gotten so many more I went for just three of the hot pink which you will see me haul in a minute right there there's my ribbon and my tape and after that I was like let me let me peek at what's going on and then I was like I need to go look at the hair goods which you'll see in just a second but apparently I really wanted to show you all of the chocolate they had I was impressed that they had Reese's hearts I can't eat them because I'm vegan, but if you can, eat some for me, because I miss them. 
and they're so good. So then I had to look at the beauty section. I was hoping that they would have some more lashes because I've been seeing a lot of good lashes lately coming out of the Dollar Tree, um, whatever that brand is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I could not find any. And I actually, the, one of the last times I was at Dollar Tree, I grabbed a pair and I haven't used them yet, but they just look so good that I know I'm going to like them, but they didn't have them. They had a lot of nails though. So if you're looking for some cute, super affordable press on nails, Dollar Tree's got you. Um, so I was just wandering around, had to go to the hair goods, like I said. I always am spending <laughs> the most money in the hair goods section. I grabbed these. I grabbed those bobby pins you just saw. Um, I'll show you everything better when I get home. I kind of wish I would have grabbed this little brett. It was really cute. And look how cute these little gem ones are and the jewel ones. Man, there was someone trying to look at the hair goods stuff. So once I was like grabbed a couple things, I was like, I'm just going to mosey on out because I definitely found enough and could have spent so much more. I grabbed some elastics. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. Oh my goodness, I'm a sleepy bean. But yeah, that's it. First thing I got, I got three of these little bins. Let me show you the bin. <laughs> three of these little bins, they're so cute. They actually had these last year and my friend got them and I just like, I don't know what happened. I probably got sick, honestly, because that's been the vibe of my life um, with this. My immune system hates me. Um, even though I try so hard, I try so hard. Anyway, had to get these. Don't know what I'll use them for. Got three of them. Kind of want to go get more. Um, probably for hair goods. We'll just say that. I did get uh, some bobby pins. I already put them in my little bin, but they're just black bobby pins. So you can just imagine those. Okay. <laughs> I got these clips, which I think are so cute. I've actually been using this one. So that's why it's a little wonky. Um, but I don't know. Again, I just felt like I just love the checkered. This one's got hair in it already, <laughs> the checkered and the pink. And again, these are on the Dollar Tree, so they're only $1.25. Um, but these are the ones that I normally get and I end up breaking them all the time. <sighs> so you can never have too many. And these ones, I probably would just use one at a time. So that's why I didn't get multiples of these. It's just the cute little heart ones. I think I'm gonna like, like I said, clip them back like this. And then I had to get these big ones, which I can tell they look a little flimsy, especially compared to the ones I got at TJ Maxx. But I had to get them with the color. They're so cute and they're so affordable. It's like hard, it's hard not to. I was like, I don't need these, but I need them because I always lose them. Same with bobby pins. So I grabbed these two because they were so cute. Hair elastics, I got these. I was thinking like, you know, pink. I always like to have the option to have the same color. I don't know why. And again, pink, <laughs> pink, <laughs> pink hand sanitizer, which I forgot to put in my car because I use so much of it for fear of getting sick that I forgot to put it in the car. This is the second one I bought from the Dollar Tree of the same kind, I forgot to put it in my car. So I gotta do that. And then I did get a couple ribbons, which I hope you can see how cute they are. Look how cute they are. It also, they also had them in red. I have no idea what I'll use them for, but again, it's the Dollar Tree. So I just kind of YOLO'd and grabbed it. Um, but yeah, so nothing too, too exciting, but I mean, I think hair goods are exciting. Um, but yeah. <laughs> sorry this was literally just like a hair video because we went and got hair dye and then I got hair stuff at TJ Maxx and then hair stuff at the Dollar Tree but that's okay <laughs> new hair you gotta you gotta update things so I'm gonna go get in bed and probably edit this <laughs> so you guys have a video on Monday and I'm gonna I might take it easy tomorrow I'll see how I feel when I wake up um but I definitely need to get to filming these videos I've got clothes hanging up over here uh I need to get to it, but we will get to it when we get to it because that's what's up. I know I have to take care of my health because I, I probably pushed too hard too fast last time and it came with a lot of repercussions. Repercussions. Did you miss me? I was gone a whole three hours. Maybe not even three hours. Did your brother bite off your... I swear her brother bites her like... Her eyebrows. Your little eyebrow whiskers. You're missing some. They look like they got the bit in. Did he bite them? All right, loves. Well, I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Again, sorry it was all hair related. She's so cute. Don't forget to my glasses, my glasses. Uh, but yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I can't wait to get back to feeling better, but I'm just gonna kind of take it a little bit easy. I think we'll probably definitely have our three uploads next week though, if I can help it. So, but yeah, but I'm just gonna like personally take it a little easy. 
and <laughs> get to stuff when I can, give myself some grace. I'm doing my best, you guys. It was so hard for me to take days off again. But at the same time, I was just like, I really didn't have a choice. That's how terrible I felt. So it is what it is. But um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being patient with me. I love you guys so much. If you made it to the end, leave a little heart emoji. Whatever heart emoji, you know, whatever heart emoji makes your heart happy, leave at the end. My personal favorite is like the pink heart with the other heart. It's like the boop and the boop, the boop and the boop. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's it for now. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I clearly missed you guys. <laughs> uh, again, thank you so much. I love you so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye. This thing does not want to stay in place today. I feel like some days it stays and some days it's just like, nope. nope. I'm so scared someone's gonna hit me because I'm just like a dingle hopper brain right now. Dingle hopper brain. Oh my gosh, will you stop, you little turd? Stop, you little turd. Why are you such a turd? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Okay. What are words? <coughs> Why are men? Why are men? Why are men? This teenage boy was in a yield and he did not yield. I feel like I feel bad because like I know not all men but like sometimes I feel like I must have been really wronged by a man in my past life like I've dealt with some crappy men in this life but like I have a wonderful father I have a wonderful boyfriend but I have dealt with douchey boys douchey men um but they just make me angry sometimes they just make me angry because it's always like they can just do whatever they want like he just looked me dead in the eye like <laughs> just went um fine or whatever you really need to go to like i don't know whatever impatience impatience it's just a, like i would say 9.9 .9 out of 10 times that i get cut off it's a man in a car and i'm like can you sorry that was a man rant hmm, i probably should have sat here for a minute to like get the cough out To get the cough out. Okay. So one girl was judging me. And she was trying to push me out of the way. Hair clips. And I was like, girl, I'm making my decision. Hold on. With your cart. Trying to push me out of the way. Like, I was standing there for like 30 seconds. Anyway. I'm rambling. 